Do you want to learn how to add a survey to your website? Using the Survey and Polls plugin for WordPress helps you learn the answers to questions you want to ask your website visitors. This lets you make informed decisions to help grow your business. In this video, I will show you multiple ways on how to add a survey to your website using the WP Form Surveys and Polls add-on. I will show you how to add the survey into normal WordPress pages, as well as how to add it into your SeedProd landing pages in seconds. SeedProd is the number one landing page builder for WordPress with over 1 million users. It features a drag and drop page editor that makes creating pages quick and easy for everyone. Please subscribe to the channel for more tutorials and to learn how CPR can help create amazing landing pages for you. So the first thing we want to do is open your WordPress dashboard as well as visit wpforms.com. You can click the link in the description and WP Forms is a drag and drop WordPress form builder with over 4 million users. In this video, we're going to be using the pro version to use the survey function. So go ahead and click the get WP Forms button and grab a pro version. Once you've done that, let's go ahead and log in. On the left hand side, let's enter your email address and password that you used to sign up with. And once inside the WP Forms dashboard, you can click on downloads and let's click on download WP Forms. On the bottom left hand side here, you'll see your license key. You can click the little clipboard here to copy that. We can close this window for now. And in WordPress, let's go to plugins and add new. And up here, let's click on upload plugin. We can drag and drop WP Form zip file right here, or you can click choose file to select that. Click on install now. And let's click on activate plugin. Now on the left hand side here, we can see WP Forms in our menu. Let's head over to settings. And right here, we're gonna paste in our license key and click verify key. If everything went well, you should see a success message. If you're using the same browser or similar, you can close this download tab at the bottom. The next thing we wanna do is install the surveys add-on. So right here, let's click on add-on. And on the top right, let's just do a quick search for survey and we'll see the surveys and polls add-on. Let's click on install add-on. Great, now let's click on add new and let's give our form a name. I'm just gonna call mine survey, but you can call yours whatever you wish. Now that we installed the add-on, we have available a few templates. So we have survey form, we have NPS Survey Simple Form, and we have NPS Survey Enhanced Form. And NPS stands for Net Promoter Score. For this example, we're gonna use the default survey form and click Create a Survey Form. This will give us a great head start. So on the right-hand side, you'll see the form that it just imported from the template. On the left-hand side, we have our fields, and these are fields that we can drag and drop into our form and add them and edit them however we wish. So in this example, we have our name, we have our email, we have a rating, we have a dynamic box here that will take some feedback from people. So if this is a one or a two, this will show this box. If it's a three, four, or five, this box will not be visible. Down here, we have a Likert scale. So this is based on a rating on different topics. So how satisfied are you with the purchase? Very satisfied, unsatisfied, neutral, satisfied, and very satisfied. And down here, how likely are you to buy from us again, etc. At the bottom, we have some additional comments or suggestions. So if you wanna add something specific, we have lots of options on the left hand side here to play with. I'm going to add a drop down here right above the review field and I'm going to click on this and it's going to switch from the add fields tab here to the field options and this will change based on what the field is. So again I'm going to click on the drop down and I'm just going to rename the label. So I'm going to say what product did you use and then you could list your products here. You could add a description as well if you like as well you can make it required. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and you can see the little red asterisk there. Once you're happy with your form you can take a quick look and preview it let's head over to settings and we have general notifications confirmations and surveys and polls so in general we have our form name description a form css class you can change the submit button to something different if you like we have the submit button processing text so this shows up after you click the button we have a submit button css class and then different options down here i'm going to click on the enable ajax form submission so this will prevent the page from reloading next we have notifications so you can turn these on or off and this will send you an email every time somebody fills out your survey just to give you an indication of what the answers were in your email instead of having to log into your wordpress dashboard however you're probably going to want to log into your dashboard but anyway, because WP Forms offers a fantastic breakdown of all the statistics and answers. Let's go to confirmations on the left hand side. Now, this is what will be shown to the user after they submit your form. So by default, we're going to be showing a message. And then this is the message that is shown. Thanks for contacting us. We will be in touch with you shortly. Now, this doesn't make much sense for a survey. You could change this to show a different page. Now, this would be a good time to use Seed Parod, which is the number one landing page builder for WordPress. And you can create your own custom thank you pages really quickly and easy. It's also drag and drop. And I'm going to show you an example of how to install this survey into a Seed Parod page in seconds at the end of this video. But you could create a custom thank 
thank you page here and then just select this and that's a great place to upsell on other products or services now you can also redirect to another url if you have a totally different page that you want to redirect to for now i'm just going to show the default message here and lastly we have surveys and polls so because we have the add-on installed we have a couple options here so by default we can enable survey reporting so we can see the reports in the wp forms entries panel and below here we have enable poll results so after somebody submits a survey they would see all the results from all of the other answers now if these are questions that are kind of sensitive about your business or the products in your business you probably do not want to share these results with everybody now how do you actually add a survey to your wordpress website well with wp forms it makes it super easy and you have multiple ways to do this we have the embed button here and we can embed this into an existing page or we can create a new page and really it works both the same way so on the left hand side if i click existing page the only page that I have right now is the sample page that comes with WordPress. So we can select this and click on let's go. I'm just going to close this. And right here, WP Forms will give you a little walkthrough on how to do this. I'm just going to say done. And I'm going to show you a nice quick way to do this. So wherever you want to add the form, just hit enter and it'll create a new block here. And we're going to do a forward slash and then just search for WP Forms. And you'll see that pop up right away. And when we click that, you'll see the block for WP Forms. And it'll say select a form. Now we can see all of the forms that we created inside of WP Forms. Let's select the survey and you'll see that that is embedded directly into our page instantly. Now if I update the page and we view page and scroll down, we can see that that survey is into our page nice and quick and easy. Let's go ahead and click send and you'll see all of the error messages because all of these were required. So then we'll go ahead and fill these in. So name, email, what product. We have a user experience here or your experience. So if I pick a one or a two, it'll say, how can we improve? We're sorry you did not have a good experience. And then they can fill in some information here. If it's a three, four or five, that doesn't even show up, which is kind of cool. So that's a dynamic field. And you can do some really nice, cool, advanced things with the dynamic fields in WP Forms. Now here's a Likert scale. How satisfied are you with the purchase? So we'll say very satisfied service satisfied company overall very satisfied and then any additional comments it works and then we can click send and now you might have noticed that the page didn't reload and it just showed a quick little ajax message there since we checked that checkbox now let's go back to our wordpress dashboard and under wp forms we can go to entries and we'll see that one entry right here and then a list of our forms below if we click on the form we can see a nice breakdown of all of the entries so we only have one and it for right now it's showing the question what product did you use and you can break this down into different charts but of course we only have one answer so it doesn't really show you a whole lot right now you can select a different question so your experience how can we improve all of the other ones or whatever questions you add added into your forms. All right, next let's create a new page quickly here and we'll just do a test page here and I'll call this page survey test. Now you could add anything you want here, fill out the survey below and I'll show you a different way. There's a little plus sign here to add a block and now we can search for WP forms in here. This is the exact same thing as doing a forward slash and then WP forms. And lastly, up here in the top left, we can also add a block on the top left side here. We have a whole left panel where we can search for WP forms. So we can click on here and that'll all do the same thing where it'll embed this form in here once we select it. Let's go ahead and publish this page and just do a quick preview of it. And again, that'll work just like the, the last one. Next, let's install Seedprod and I'll show you a quick example. This is just gonna be Seedprod Lite. Let's go to plugins and add new and search for cprod now cprod is the best landing page builder that you can get for wordpress and it is highly recommended now there is a difference between a web page builder and a landing page builder so cprod specializes in marketing and landing pages coming soon pages and much much more i recommend that you check out the features page on the cprod website to learn more so let's go ahead and install cprod light i'll click install now and click activate let's go ahead on the left hand side we'll see cprod and let's click on pages now we see coming soon mode and maintenance mode and the login page and 404 page are grayed out because those are pro version features on the bottom we want to create a new landing page now cprod's going to ask you to choose a new page template and in the free version here you do have access to a few different landing page templates if you enter your email address to sign up to the newsletter you will get 10 free templates and those are shown right here with the orange subscribe above to unlock banner on them and then below there's a ton of pro ones that you can unlock that are fantastic to work with in this example i'm just going to import the blue one here so click the check mark and give it a name so i'll call this seed prod survey and we'll say save and start editing the page so we 
we have our page on the right hand side that we just imported from a template and on the left hand side we have our drag and drop blocks just like the form fields and WP forms I'm going to delete this section you can see how easy that is and on the left hand side I'm going to drag and drop the contact form block here now this says contact form but it just connects it to WP forms when I click on this it'll ask me to select a form and I can select the survey and there you go you can update the text on the page you can update the image if you like now I can see my survey looks a little bit squished so if I click up here on the on the resize column I can now click and drag this and just slide this over if I like or I can delete this whole column completely or the image and then we can just save this and click on preview and there you go you can see the survey is in our seed prod page now that you know how to add a survey to your WordPress website this would be a great time to learn how to add a contact form in WordPress as well to get started check out this video on how to add a contact form in WordPress which will walk you through the process easily step by step thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.